Welcome to this week's Sermon Recap. Sunday I talked about joy, and I talked about it in the aspect of we find joy in serving others. Paul and Barnabas, they had gone to a city, they had preached the gospel, uh, they were rejected by some people, then they went and had an evangelistic meeting, and all these people came to Christ. But then the other people came back and stirred up a riot, they were thrown out of the city. And the Bible says this, the disciples were filled with joy in the Holy Ghost. Here they were being persecuted. Here they were uh, in deprivation, uh, not at home, not having very much, but they had joy. Why did they have joy? They had joy because they were serving others. And I talked about this Sunday that oftentimes in this commercialistic society. It's all about us, and we get depressed, and we look at others on Facebook, and they're in a Uber, or they're wherever. Oh, woe is us. You know how to solve that? Go and help somebody else. Go and serve somebody else. Go and be a blessing to somebody else. There is joy in serving others. Paul said this in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 19, for what is our hope or joy? or crown of rejoicing, are not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ? In verse 20, he says this, For you are our glory and joy. Who was he talking about? He was talking about the people that he ministered to, that he served, that he wept over, that he prayed over, that he worked with, those precious people. Sometimes it was a few, sometimes it was a lot. And as Paul wrote to all the churches, he mentioned people by name that he was praying for him. Why? Because his joy was not in gathering material, material things. His joy was not in having more things for him or going here. His joy, he found, was in serving others. And as we think about this Christmas season, look around you. There are people that you could be a blessing to, a help to. Invite them to church, write a card, sit down and have coffee. Maybe somebody doesn't have any place to go for dinner. Every holiday, we always have a couple of stragglers at our dinner table. Every year, no fail, we find somebody. You don't have anywhere to go for Christmas. You don't have anywhere to go for Thanksgiving. You don't have anywhere to go to eat for Easter. Come to our house be a blessing. Today, my wife was talking to somebody on Facebook from our church in Romania, Niku, and she had sent him a picture of him and the girls when he was younger and the girls were little, and they were talking about how, what great memories. And Niku said, whenever I get sad, I always go back to that happy place, those happy times. And as I thought about that, what a blessing that was. I can remember going to his house and pleading with his father to let them come to church and all the battles and all the struggles. And now he's serving as a pastor in a church in Newcastle, uh, England. And, and he's a, one of the, the first gypsy councilmen, uh, man in uh, Newcastle. And, and God's doing a great work through his family and through uh, all the people around there. And, and see, you, you think about that. Man, a new iPhone, man, that looks like nothing Compare, compared to the joy there is in serving others. So this Christmas, if you're getting depressed, look around you. Find somebody that needs maybe food. Maybe they just need somebody to talk to. Maybe they need a phone call. Maybe they need a card. Look around you. Lift up your eyes. There is great joy in serving others. God bless you. See you Sunday where we are going to be talking about peace.